Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Crypto Jarhead. Uh, man, I gotta tell you, Evolution launches tomorrow and I haven't been able to get it off my mind. Uh, <laughs> luckily, had a pretty uh, pretty easy work day, got home pretty early. Um, you know, so I just, I couldn't stop thinking about Evolution and I came up with a few more uh, strategies for everyone to use if they would like. And, you know, as always, if you don't like a strategy, just, you know, just don't use it. Um, <sighs> Man, it's going to be exciting tomorrow. Oh, man. I tell you what. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. I'm, I'm super ecstatic. Super, super excited about this. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's get into three more evolution strategies. All right. Option D, the super extreme HODL edition. Buy as much as you can, hopefully over 2,000, and write it off as a loss as soon as you buy it right your goal is just to live off the dividends for forever for as long as the project's alive you know so you're looking at at least six months of dividends and you want that many tokens because you're trying to get as many dividends as you can so as many tokens as you can get initially would be better you know so with this strategy uh you're not you're never reinvesting you're never selling you're just withdrawing dividends that's all you're doing uh, maybe towards the end when you decide to get out Nice little bonus for you to sell your tokens. Um, you know, so this is a viable strategy. I personally wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's not as profitable as other strategies. And honestly, I don't think it would be as much fun to play this way. But some people get a kick out of it. So it is a strategy, uh, throwing it out there. Now, option E. I call this manual arbitraging. Um, it's not technically arbitraging because it's all on the same site, you know, but uh, that's just kind of the way I look at it. And it's the same basic concept, right? So what you're really waiting for is you're waiting for the token price to kind of stabilize. Now, with the way this is set up, with those trade dividends bringing fresh ETH into the contract, price is going to go up and down, up and down. It's going to cycle, right? It's not going to be like your standard zero sums where it'll get super high you know, level off and then super low and then die. <laughs> That's just not going to happen here because of that trading account, right? And, uh, you know, there's always going to be an opportunity for new people to buy in on dips, right? There's always going to be some people saying, I've had enough of this crazy roller coaster. I'm getting off at the next, at the next high. Um, you know, some people just can't stand the excitement and the adrenaline. I live for it. But, so, <clears throat> what you would do here is buy what you can afford. The amount does not matter. Obviously, the more tokens you have, the more successful this is going to be. But, you can always build up with this strategy. Okay. Um, collect your divs off the first couple of days. Uh, maybe sell half at what you believe to be the all-time high, or just wait for the sell off to begin and then, you know, sell at that point. Um, so let's get into an example. You buy in at a dollar a token, you've initially got a thousand bucks. So you get a thousand tokens. Keep it simple, easy math, right? But you can adjust this initial price point, initial tokens to whatever your particular price that you got in at with however many tokens you were able to buy, okay? Uh, so let's say the price blows up to eight bucks and stabilizes for a little bit. You think it's the all-time high? You're going to sell 500 tokens, right? Half of what you got. Okay, so that's going to be four thousand dollars in your pocket, and you still got 500 evolution. And let's say the price climbs up to 11 bucks over the next couple of days. That's why I said only sell half, right? Hits 11 dollars. People are getting their 10x and they're getting out. You start seeing the crash happening, the dip happening, and you catch it around 10 bucks. So you sell everything. You sell your other 500 at $10 for 5,000 new dollars for a new total profit of 9K, right? Price continues to fall. The world is crashing. People are panicking. Stabilizes around $1.50 or so, right? Holds there for a couple of days. So this is what we would call the stabilized price. Keep in mind, this is going to change. 
but this is what you're thinking the stabilized price is going to be. Okay. Buy back in with six thousand dollars. Okay, so that will get you four thousand tokens, and you've got three thousand dollars in profit in your pocket. Don't forget to take your profits, guys. <laughs> Don't go all in, all out every time. You can. Don't do that. That's how you get caught. You know, that's how you get greedy. That's how you get your freaking Ethereum stuck in the gears. <clears throat> so anyway, you've got 4,000 tokens, 3,000 bucks in your pocket. The price is fluctuating between $1.25 and $1.75, just a 50 cent increase and decrease, right? But that 50 cents is all we need, right? Keep a reserve. In this situation, I would keep your original 1,000 tokens in reserve. Right? You're going to hold that. That's going to be for your dividends throughout the process. That's going to be for, you know, uh, in case of the price spikes crazy fucking high after you've sold. You know, so you sell it at $1.75 and it spikes up even higher. Right? Then you still got those thousands on reserve for if you want to go ahead and cash out, you can do that. But keep a reserve. The amount doesn't matter. I would suggest about a quarter of what you have. Okay, so you're going to sell at $1.75. The first round, you're selling 3,000 tokens. You're going to get $52.50 in dollars. Okay, just back down to $1.25 or so, you're going to get right around 4,200 evolution tokens. Your second sale, when it comes back up to $1.75, you're going to pull seven grand out, $73.50 to be exact. And your second buyback, you're going to get 58.80 evolution mm -hmm. tokens. Um, climbs back up to $1.75. You're going to sell for $10,290. Drops back down. You're going to get eighty-two thirty-two in evolution tokens. Okay, repeat this as much as you want, as little as you want. Um, the worst thing that can happen when you're doing something like this is you sell all of your tokens at what you believe the high price to be, so $1.75, and then it jumps back up to four or five bucks a token and does not come back down for like a week or two. But worst case scenario, if that happens, hopefully you've still got those thousand tokens on reserve. But if not, then maybe you consider just walking away for a little bit, right? You would have made a profit <laughs> doing this um, above and beyond that initial $3,000 in this example scenario, right? So in this situation, let's say you did it two times. Well, you've got that three thousand plus that seventy-three fifty, so that's about ten grand off of initial one thousand dollar investment. Not a bad day at all. Okay. Um, <clears throat> say you're holding these tokens, and the price jumps up crazy. What I do in that situation is I'll wait. I'll I'll try and establish a new stabilized price, and try and work in that same fifty cent range from there. Okay. So if it jumps up to three dollars. All right, and that's about the stable price. Then I'll be looking to buy back in at 275 and sell around 325. Okay, it's a moving target. Don't stick with a dollar 25 and a dollar 75. Okay, that might not even be the stable price to begin with. I don't know, but I do know it is going to stabilize and fluctuate up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, that's just the way this stuff works, man. Um, so keep in mind the stable price can and will change over time. So stay flexible. As we say in the Marine Corps, Semper Gumby. Do not get greedy. Keep a reserve and pull responsible profits out as you're doing this. So for example, you might want to just do even numbers. So that first sale up here, 5250, maybe you only buy back in with 5,000 and you only get 4,000 evolution tokens and you keep that 250 bucks in your pocket. That second sale, you buy back in with seven grand, you know, and get somewhere around uh, uh, 54, 5,500 evolution, and you keep that 350 in your pocket. Third sale, keep that 290 in your pocket, so on and so forth. This goes back to making sure that you're taking a profit out. Don't go all in on this, on this stuff, okay? Keep the bottom line in mind. All right, now... Brings us to my last strategy for today, 
which I call cycle crazy. It's very similar to the manual arbitrage, but with a strategy shift. Kind of what I was just getting into. Um, arbitrage as normal, as you would, and you're going to build yourself up to what you consider to be an acceptable amount. Okay, This is going to vary from person to person that does this. The small guppies right now might consider $1,000 to be a very good amount to be doing this with. Uh, some of the bigger guys might say 5000 is good. And some of the whales might be like, well, shit, man, if I'm doing this, I'm doing this with fifteen dollars or $20,000. The point is, what is acceptable to you? What you are comfortable with doing? Because if you're playing with more than you're comfortable, you're going to make a mistake. So, build yourself up to that point. I'm going to say $5,000 as an example. Once you're at that point, each round, pull any profit above that point. In this case, $5,000 is profit. So, example... $5,000 at a, at $1.25, 4,000 tokens. When you sell it at $1.75, that's seven grand. You're gonna put 2,000 bucks in your pocket, you're gonna buy another 4,000 tokens, right? When it comes back down to $1.25. And you're gonna repeat this as much or as little as you want. Um, so as you can see, guys, the ways to play Evolution, it's not really a game. But if you wanna play it as a game, there's so many different strategies that you can do. You know, this is real money. This is the power of having a trading account with multiple bots to cover. You know, we're going to have multiple bots so that if one day bot A trade, you know, doesn't trade for a profit, maybe it trades for like a loss, you know, or just breaks even, which does happen from time to time. Well, bot B and C should hopefully be in the profit, right? You know, and on top of the bot trading, we got a couple of guys who are all coin specialists. I think we're doing a little bit of manual arbitraging. Um, it's going to be a small amount of that uh, trading portfolio, but there will be a little bit of like manual, more long-term choices. Um, so diversification is the key, right? So that way, if one thing does bad, you've got, you know. B, C, D, and E that hopefully are at least breaking even. <laughs> um, now, but keep in mind, guys, it is a bear market. So when this market turns bullish, which it will, just a question of when, you know, the, the profits that we're going to get from this trading about will go up. But in the meantime, slow and steady wins the race. Um, but my point being, with this fresh money coming into the contract through the trading, Right? You don't have a choice. It's going to happen whether you want it to or not. Um, that is what's going to continue to have these cycles. That's what's going to cause the price of the coin to fluctuate up and down, up and down, up and down. And every time it does, that trading account gets a little bit bigger. It's, <laughs> it, it's, it blows my mind how this has not been thought of before. Um, this project is unreal. It's unlike anything that's, gonna, anything that's out there. Um, now... It is currently 16.53 Pacific Standard Time, California time. Um, in about half an hour, Crypto Country Boy is going to be going live. And during that live stream is where we'll be passing out our first round of dividends from the trading account. Um, keep in mind, it's not a mind-boggling number, but that trading account is still small. Uh, I think it's only got 5000 maybe 5,500 in it right now. Um, and we've only been rolling through the profits for three days. So it's three days worth of dividends, um, but it's, it's a pretty decent amount for three days worth of dividends at the very beginning. Um, so I'm not gonna spoil the amount. I do know what the amount is. Um, and it will be divided, of course, amongst everyone that's in there. Um, but it's not too bad for three days worth of nothing. I didn't do anything for these profits. You didn't do anything for these profits. You know, the, only a few guys in this project have been working on this. You know, these guys, we're benefiting off of their work um, that they've been doing the past three days. So don't forget to give them a big special thank you when you see them in the Discord and the Telegram. Um, that's all I've got for now. Uh, you know, you know me, I love to crunch numbers. It's, it's what I do. I'm kind of a math nerd. 
Um, so I'm sure that there will be many, many more strategies that I can come up with. And of course, if you have strategies, uh, feel free to use your own. You know, my big thing as always is have a strategy in mind. Don't just throw money into something and expect more money to come your way. Um, there is always, always needs to be a strategy. Uh, so that's all I've got for now. I'll see you guys on Country Boys live stream. Jarhead out.